Hi there. So crafting system using Bolt. Let me show you how it works. So I can pick up those items in the inventory. I can put it in the spots where I can craft it from. Click craft. And if I match one of the recipes, I create one item. That's how I created in the live stream. The links to the live stream in the description if you want to see the full process of me creating it and talking about it. But you can break that part away from the inventory and have it separate. And it works exactly the same. It's just the craft part of it. And I can craft it and it shows up in inventory. Now I connected this box to a key B. So if you download this project and you want to try it out, you can click B and it's going to show up this method. And another method that I created was actually using a recipe book. Basically, you can pick up those items again and you can find what you want to craft. So let's again craft that carrot juice. Click craft and it crafts it. Let's try crafting this stew now. So I'll pick up a turnip and craft that stew. So now we have a stew. Let's craft another stew. So we got two stews. So that's how the crafting system in Bolt looks in this project. Now, I'm not going to be actually creating the crafting system in this video because the process of creating the whole system is pretty long, but I will share this project and HIO. I'll put it up for free. If anyone wants to support what I'm doing, you're more than welcome. I don't consider this project as a complete system that you can start using your games. It is meant to just demonstrate how the system was work. But if you guys are interested in me making a asset inventory system and a craft system that you can actually import and use in your games, let me know in the comments. That is an option that I actually can do. But here is the key features of the setup. So if I go to variables for variables, I use actually application variables. One of the application variable is items and the other application variable is recipes. In the live stream, the recipes were actually part of one of the game objects, but I moved it to an application variable so I can use it across different methods of crafting. The recipes are pretty simple. So you have the value right here, which is the um, item that you're trying to create. So carrot juice. And these are the items that are required to create that um, carrot juice. So three carrots to create that carrot juice. Same thing for turnip. You need carrot juice to create turnip. And you can see the ingredients for this stew right here. So for the items, currently I'm using the Sprite and Prefab in the project. So those are required. I haven't switched stackable option to be used from this list. It's still using the value from the Prefab. So that's the two dictionaries that store all the data. And for crafting, the crafting logic is located in this craft. So it's either in this craft box craft or in the inventory craft. So you can take a look at that. I left it pretty much the same from the live stream. So I haven't done any changes, I think, to this. I did add some groups to give a better understanding what each part is doing. And the other approach that I didn't show during the live stream is this recipe book right here. There are two graphs that are involved with it. This graph right here that is attached to the recipe book is the one that populates those recipes in that book on start. So on start, I create recipes game objects. So this is the whole process of populating it. And let's go take a look at that recipe object. It also has the graph. And this one is pretty complex, I'd say. But for this one, you don't actually have to move around those items from your inventory to be able to use this. What I mean by moving is the ability of picking up items and just placing them in another slots. If you have that functionality, the approach of using this craft right here is the simpler route to go. But if you don't have the moving capability and you don't really want to add it, then I would say the recipe book approach would be a, a simpler route to go. The graph itself is more complicated, but in the long run, you don't have to do as much as you do for moving those items around. So I don't know if the video is helpful for anyone to go into details about how to create this crafting. I would have to actually create a whole series of how to be able to move the items in the inventory and the whole crafting thing. I did do all of that in the live stream. But the live stream is longer than my usual tutorials, I guess. It wasn't meant to be a tutorial, but I did discuss all of the details there. So if you are interested in seeing more information, check that out. For the inventory, if you guys actually need more information or I didn't provide enough information on my tutorials about the inventory, uh, there's another tutorial series on inventory system using Bolt and Unity. So 
you can check that out. Maybe you'll find some information that you need to understand something. But again, I hope this project helps someone out. Personally, I would use C# to create the inventory system and the craft system, but maybe this bold inventory series helped you guys out in some way. I hope it did. I think this is going to be the last video I'm going to be doing on this inventory project. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.